Ever wonder why your marmoset bakes don't turn out perfect? Stick around because today we are uncovering the top 9 baking mistakes and how to fix them. Before we dive in, think about this. Which of these errors have you encountered in your projects? Let me know in the comments below. Error number 1. Black splotches. Why it happens? This happens when the cage is too small, causing black splotches or holes in the projection. How to fix it? Just increase the cage size and you are ready to go. Error number 2. Overlapping bay groups. Why it happens? Bay cages are overlapping. How to fix it? Create separate bay groups. So here you have to create different bay groups uh, in your in Blender and for the low poly and high poly meshes. Then you export them. And in Marmoset, you have to create the different folders inside the baking. So you can uh, prepare those different uh, baking groups. Error number three, UV overlap. Why it happens? UVs are not properly packed or not updated. updated. The low poly FBX might not be updated in Marmoset. How to fix it? Ensure UVs are currently packed and update the low poly FBX in Marmoset. So probably you missed to uh, repack everything and some UVs are overlapping over others. So just select everything and repack. Error number four, hard edges not marked as UV seams. Why it happens? This appears as a weird edge where the UV cut is resembling a line. How to fix it? Mark hard edges as UV seams. So everywhere you have a hard edge, that hard edge has to be a UV seam. That's really important. That's really, really, really important to improve this uh, or fix this error. Error number five, projection distortion. Why it happens? Error in skew. How to fix it? Adjust the skew settings. Here you can go to the uh, to the skew options menus in Marmoset and paint over the mesh so you can uh, fix this uh, this skew. It's pretty pretty simple to to fix it. Error number six: low poly model differs too much from high poly model. Why it happens? The low poly model has significant differences from the high poly model. How to fix it? Adjust the low poly model by adding more polygons or reshaping it to closely match the high poly model. Ensure vertices are properly aligned and distributed. Basically, your low poly mesh is not following too much the surface of, of the high poly model. So go to Blender or Maya or whatever and check if the low poly is following the mesh, the high poly mesh. Error number seven, incorrect smoothing groups. Why it happens? The high poly model should be set entirely to smooth, while the low poly model should have appropriate parts set to shade smooth and others to shade flat like the hard edges. How to fix it? Correct the smoothing groups on both the high and low poly model models. Usually what it happens is that a uh, you are working with the high poly model with the smoothing with the solution surface modifier and it has so many polygons that you don't realize that the model is in flat mode or in flat uh, it has flat shading uh, so just double check in the high poly model uh, you have to set it up to shade smooth if you don't set up the high poly model as shade smooth, you will bake every face into the texture, into the draw map, and so on. Error number eight, holes in the model. Why it happens? Holes in the model cause projection errors because the high poly model is not found, leading to strange colors in the bake. How to fix it? Model the internal parts on both the high and low poly models or create caps 
for the holes. So cap the hole or model the entire thing. That's it. Error number nine, edge waviness. Why it happens? The model is too low poly. How to fix it? Increase the number of edges on the silhouette. This is really, really easy also, but if you don't know, maybe just you don't know why it happens. But if the low poly is too low poly, you will have this uh, this error. In general, in cylinders or yeah, cylinders. So thank you for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful for your baking process in Marmoset Toolbag. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and content. See you next time.